Hi everyone, it's Moonlight Mason and I am back for part number three on this Glam Life Guru Drama Pretty Pink Pill Scandal. And uh, I would just first like to thank all of my new subscribers and you don't know how happy it is that I, that how happy I am that you guys are commenting and supporting each other and making it okay to have concerns and ask your questions. We all need support. And for those of you who feel like all of our questions and concerns are coming off in a negative, hateful way, I disagree. I, I know there's been some negativity, really bad negativity and hateful things that have been said and uh, I, we're going to talk about that. But mostly we're going to see if we can tie this all three parts of this Tati pink pill drama. We're going to see if we can tie it all together in this video. I don't know if we're going to continue, if there's going to be a part four, but let's continue right now. So if you're interested in what else I have to say, you got to keep watching <laughs> hi everyone i'm moonlight mason welcome to my channel if you're here for the first time please do consider subscribing and if you've been here before but you haven't subscribed it just really makes me happy and it'll uh, let, allow you to get notifications has to when I do upload. I do want to say one thing. I do have playlists. So if you subscribe to me because of Trisha Paytas that I've made many, many videos about, and I do have one that's about to be released on her and Jason Nash, we have a playlist for that. We have a playlist on um, my top 10 rules for being successful. We have a Play, many playlists is what I'm trying to say. So if you subscribe to me because of skincare or makeup or any other subject, just click on the playlist and see if something is new there that you haven't seen. Now in this video, we are going to continue this uh, Talk to you Westbrook um, saga, <laughs> drama. And uh, she did come out with a 50 minute, I believe it was 50 minute, where she came on and she uh, made an attempt to answer questions, address some concerns, and um, kind of just to, like, you know, uh, try to make it all better. I think that's what she was trying to do. And unfortunately, I, I'm only talking for myself. I am not trying to persuade you to think like I do. You think the way you want to think, and I'm just sharing what uh, my thoughts are. That's all, right? Okay, so her video made things worse for me. And, and here's the reason why. Okay, we're going to talk a little bit about facades and wearing masks. And there are, um, uh, there's a one YouTuber that I'm going to bring up right now that wears a mask, right? But when he talks, he cannot hide the sweetness and how genuine and down to earth he is. I love him so much, and that is Rich Lux. He wears this makeup, and then when he talks, I just see his heart. And if you know Rich Lux, you may agree with me. Okay, another one who I feel that I absolutely love, and I could just make a whole video on YouTubers, but another um, person that I absolutely love and I feel is so genuine is Jen Loves Reviews. I love her. I mean, even when she's just doing her, you know, chit chats and she's going on live, every single thing that she says, how she acts, you just feel like you just like this person heart to heart. This is now let's get to Tati's end video. Okay. The last one, not end, <laughs> the last one that she made because, you know, she has not kept up with her seven years of up, of uploading new makeup videos for us every morning. Because every morning I put on my makeup and even though I have unsubscribed, I have to admit, I've checked to see if she has anything up on uh, makeup and I haven't found anything. Maybe something has come up since I am filming this 
you know, okay, because it does take me a while to get stuff uploaded. I'm not as quick as some of the others. Kathy's last video. Here is what I would have liked to see. And here is what I would have liked to have seen. I would have liked her to have come on and um, and said, you, I am sorry, this is the first time I've done this. Uh, please forgive me. I understand that I should have done all this before launching my product. I should have done what's called a soft opening. I should have done what many, most um, people who release or launch or do press releases do. And they, you know, do that PR. She didn't want to do PR. Now, you know why I think, this is my opinion. The reason why I think she didn't want to do PR is because I don't think that the product, the Beauty Booster, the Halo Beauty Booster existed a lot, existed prior to her launch you know if she's been taking these pills for a year i don't believe that i believe that she's maybe been taking some formulation of these pills or maybe she's been taking that ceramide that active ingredient that is the um star of the show supposedly right if she's been taking that ingredient for some time i just I don't know, I just kind of believe that she would have made mention of it, talking about, you know, what she's doing in her life or, you know, I just think there would have been some mention of it. I found her video to have an air of entitlement, you know? Now, now wait, before I go on, let me just say what I really agreed with. Okay, let me let, let me get this over with because I don't want to forget. I don't want to forget to let you know what I really agreed with. I really agree with Tati that going after her mother and you know with that Scientology stuff which I've been to the Scientology did you see that movie get out that's what it's like when you're in there and so we can do I could do a video okay of when I went there one time and what that was like but um going after Tati's mother because she went to a couple of classes there or something like that I mean that's just you know ridiculous that has nothing to do with what with her pink pretty pills and so to bring up other family members to release her address her public address i mean it's public knowledge yes and i still believe that that might be where she lives because i'm telling you i did look it up and it's like an apartment building a beautiful complex in um marina del rey and maybe i'm wrong maybe it's a business complex it doesn't matter that's unnecessary. We don't need to release that, those types of information or any type of information that can actually cause harm. Because because you and I know there's a lot of Looney Tunes out there. Okay, I mean that's I'm not even going out at night because I watch the news. I can't be watching the news because there's so much crazy, dangerous stuff happening at night. So. There are dangerous people out there. There are Looney Tunes. I got a comment from someone calling me a grandma. <laughs> oh my God. You know what? I know he, he, he or she made this comment in a negative way. Like maybe they thought it was going to, you know, affect me in a negative way. But actually it made me laugh. It made me smile because I never had children. So my children are my dogs and I understand that if you have dogs, you know what I'm talking about because I never had kids and I absolutely unconditionally love my dogs. So they are my kids. So I'll never ever be a grandmother, but um, I'm probably your great, great, great grandmother's tia's prima's daughter. I mean, I don't know how young you guys are. I hear some of you are like nine, 10, 11, 12. So, you know, I don't know. People are having children earlier these days, but you know what? It just made me smile inside and I said, wow, someone called me a grandma. I didn't get that same vibe like when Trisha Paytas calls Jason daddy. I mean, to me, that's creepy. But when someone called me a grandma, that was the first time in my whole life that anyone did that. And it was kind of like, I don't know, don't start calling me grandma though. <laughs> grandma please okay the other thing about Tati West, uh, Westbrook that I want to talk about is that you know like I mentioned her video actually 
made things worse for me because I feel like she was um, condescending to her subscribers. And instead of saying something like, you know, um, why am I saying um a lot? I, I, don't, I don't know. Instead of saying something like, I appreciate that you guys are going out and looking at this information and, and that, you know, you should be doing this. And she did say a little bit about that towards the end. Most of it was just being defensive. And, and I just still don't know what makes the pretty pink pills pink. That was my question. She still has been answering the questions to her favor. That's how I feel. And I feel like, I think that a lot of the viewers where you're feeling the negativity or where you're feeling maybe even some of the hate, which I hate that word. I hate the word hate because it's such a strong word to use. And I don't think that, you know, a lot of us really hate. You know what I'm, I'm saying? I just don't think so. But I think that what you're really seeing is disappointment and people are just hurt. She said something about uh, us, us, her viewers, or the people that are buying the Pretty Pink Pills, that we can do the before and afters for her. She also, which which I thought, no, those those before and afters are done before you launch a product so that you can validate the claims of your product. We don't have any validation. Let's see if she ever does produce any testimonials from the work that's being done by her team, the scientist, nutritionist. I mean, she says that she doesn't wanna bring them forward because they are afraid of some, I don't know what. I don't know, I'm not putting words in her mouth. What, negative publicity? What, people asking more questions? I don't see any of that happening when there's infomercials that come out and you know, you, I don't see that scientist or that creator, that professional, that nutritional, nutritionist getting attacked. I don't see that. And so I'm not sure what she is doing. I'm not sure what's real and what isn't. I'm sharing with you that her last video didn't do anything for me as far as softening my heart, right? And changing my opinion on these pink pills. You see how my videos are and being as honest as I can with you. And some of you that are coming up and giving me negative, negative comments or coming at me like in a very negative, hateful way, I want you to know those are your colors. It's so, it's so, it's so, obvious to me I, and maybe you know i mean for the haters out there or people who who do some really crazy crazy actions and say things you don't see that when you respond those are your colors they're not my colors okay they are not my colors and they're not 99.9 percent .9 of thought these viewers colors because most of us are just wanting more information and we're curious and we want to know why it's so hard to see past her facade it's hard for me to see the truth in tati and that's what it is that's how it is she, I, she lost me i've unsubscribed there's other people out there that I love watching, that I trust, you know, Madison Miller, Stephanie Nicole, Jeffree Star, I love Jeffree Star, Maddie MUA, Nikki Tutorials, you know, Makeup by Shayla. I could make like a rap song on all this, man. <laughs> Anyways, there's a lot of other YouTubers that are into makeup and they're, they're makeup influencers that I absolutely adore. I know that some of you have asked me to give you more health tips, nutritional tips, and I'm going to try to do that in little bits and pieces as we go through some of my videos, as I record them. And today I want to, to give you an excellent sugar substitute that is not a chemical and that is absolutely delicious and you'll never get that you know, stevia aftertaste, or you won't get any, there's nothing harmful that can harm you. And that uh, product is by Marcus Sweet. I'm not getting paid for this. I have ordered it again and again, and um, he doesn't even know I'm doing this, uh, but this is Marcus Sweet, okay? 
If you could, oh, it looks like it's the opposite. Oh man. Anyways, all right. It's called Marcus Sweet. It's got two ingredients in it. It's a natural sugar substitute, zero calories, zero, zero glycemic. So it's not going to raise or or lower the glycemic, your blood, your your blood sugar. It doesn't do that. So it's it's right on the package here. It's great for diabetics. Um, it's non-GMO. It's organic. It's vegan. It's gluten free. I think I already said that. It, it tastes absolutely amazing. This is seven dollars for um, seven dollars for you know it's this big, and 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 it really kind of goes up to about here. It's pretty full. You don't just get just a little tiny bit like some bags, and you need to order it online. So it's M A R K U S sweet. And if you guys like some sugar, you can bake with this. You can make cookies, cakes put it in your coffee. It's a one-to-one -one sugar substitute. And I have found that it is the best one out there. And I don't want to spend that much time watching someone that I don't like anymore. But if she comes out with anything that's worthy of me making a video, I'll make another one. All right, you guys, thanks for watching. And I wish you beautiful internal organs, healthy, diet and lifestyle and i will see that was kind of silly huh i know oh well i'll see you in my next video